All right, Cancer. I'm going to try to get your video out here. I just got interrupted. All right, I see you um, thinking very clearly about some decisions that you have, some options that you have. Um, there could have been some confusion around it, but I think that you're seeing things clear for what they are. You're wasting no time um, cutting things and people off that do not serve you. You are seeing clearly through whatever confusion and you are sorting through the options right now. Yeah, there you are again. It's the same Queen of Swords. It's the same energy I saw um, a second ago. Six of Cups. Um, I see you reflecting um, back on childhood memories. Um, if it's not childhood memories, it's just memories, fonder memories. Um, you feel cold right now. I could be talking to someone who's just recently lost someone. Um, cold, wise, discerning, thinking clearly. Um, you've learned a lot from your past experiences. I do see you remember uh, remembering fonder memories. What else do I have here? For cancer, thank you. Yeah. Um, I see Ten of Cups. I see someone that's very happy, um, the family. I think that you're reflecting back on fonder memories. And um, the future just looks bright. It looks like a very happy family setting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, Queen of Swords. It's a very cold energy. It's cold. Um, it's discerning. You, you've learned a lot. You can think clearly. And you. this is someone who's had harder days. <sighs> that wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> um, yeah, that was creepy. At any rate, this is someone who's had experienced much colder days. And you've learned from... You've learned, you've learned the hard way. Um, I just see your past experience there with the Four of Swords and the Moon. You know, there are secrets. It caused a lot of hurt. Um, someone had to grieve alone. They had to heal alone. Um, there was a lot of what's done in the dark. Um, it's made you who you are today. You know, you're wiser because of it. You can think clearly. You see through people easily because you've been there. You've done that. You got the t-shirt. <sighs> yeah, that's, yeah. The four of swords with the moon. Um, you could also be grieving uh, privately right now. Privately. And I think people um, are noticing that you are kind of cold right now cold, calculating, discerning, uh, cutting people in um, places off that just serve you, that don't serve you. Um, I think in your alone time, you're healing, you're grieving. Um, there's, um, it's almost like you don't want people to know that you are sad. Um, that you're sad, that you're going through a healing process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you're reflecting on these past memories, if they're memories of your childhood or they're just memory, fonder memories in general, um, there's a King of Cups energy there around it. It's a masculine energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a masculine, um, but it's an action type of love. It's someone who expressed their love and they did it with purpose. You know, when we think masculine energy, we think action. Um, someone that was a solver, they were a fixer. They did things very carefully and very purposely. And it was always done out of love. Someone that put others first. They did have resources 
to show this type of love at a king status they had resources to express their love and i think that you um it very well could have been a male that you're remembering fond or memories of but it doesn't necessarily have to be it's just someone who went the extra mile to express their love and at the ten of cups here in the future with the king of swords you know what it takes um to be completely um emotionally fulfilled at a family level um this is someone who takes action there you know i have a queen of swords and now a king of swords and right in the middle a king of cups backing up your ten of cups is a king of swords energy it's just someone that um that keeps their head like you're not going to get caught up in the whimsical moment of being in love you're not going to be overridden by emotion this is someone who will still make head over heart decisions but they're doing it out of a place of love if that makes sense this is what family does for each other we stick together we are going to make head over heart decisions we're going to keep a clear head we're going to keep our focus um this is someone that puts on a very strong front that they are um that they're very clear they're very um i want to say concise i don't think that's the right word it's like precise um this is someone who takes action they take action to make sure that others are good that others are feel loved um, that the right actions are taken. This is somebody who takes action. They're very practical and they think things all the way through, but they're doing it out of a place of love. I don't see a bad rating, Cancer. Not at all. I do see some, um, I do, I mean, I do see some poor me stuff, um, but I think that's in your, I think that's in your private moments. I just see, I see the good and the bad. I don't really see a bad, a bad reading here. Hopefully that will make sense to you. This is just a general reading. It doesn't necessarily have to be of love. Um, I got two pages, page of wands, page of pence. Someone's taking action. Um, it's just like small invitations to go somewhere, small invitations um, with money around it. Like, hey, would you like to go get a, a cup of coffee? Um, don't worry, I got this one. I got the check on this one. That kind of offer. Um, with two pages there you could just be spending more time with children yeah this is someone um, using all their willpower uh, with the magician and the six of wands this is someone using all their willpower to be successful in an area of life um, everything all their focus all their time money energy effort resources to be successful um, I do see a lot of grief a lot of coulda, woulda, shoulda's, and that is what's inspiring you now to, it's kind of fueling your desire to win. It kind of, It's sort of like a phoenix rising energy. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, and that's kind of inspiring you now. Like, um, okay, that was the past. We need to put, you know, we need to focus forward and put all my time, money. Here we are again with the five of cups. I can't avoid it. Um, the Five of Cups, your coulda, woulda, shouldas. I saw that in your pre-shuffle. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coulda, woulda, shouldas. Then we have the Empress here. Um, a lot of regret. A lot of remorse. And then I'm pulling on the Empress. I don't know if this is your mother or just a very mothering energy. You know, we all beat ourselves up from time to time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's a, um, to, if someone just lost a mother, it's very possible. Five of Cups, the Empress, and the Death. Um, I just see a lot of coulda, woulda, shoulda, and then I have the Empress and now the Death card. Um, there's definitely something transitioning in your life without the shadow of a doubt. 
Um, this very well could be someone who lost a parent. They wish they had done things differently. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Now it's too late. Can I get behind the five, please? Now it's too late. Yeah. Five of Cups, the Empress, and the Death. Um, I do see things that are changing for you. Yeah. Coulda, woulda, shoulda with the shadow side. Um, you're kind of, you're hanging on to this, really beating yourself up about it. Um, it was sort of in the reverse, and so I, I, it's hard to take it. Like, I think you're doing your best to let this go. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, really um, in your feelings of the regret, the sorrow, the grief. Um, and you're really letting this bother, you're, you're almost letting this control your control you. I see you're doing your best to release it. You're trying so hard to release this um, energy. I just want you to know, and I, I, I'm sorry, I hope I'm not um, upsetting anyone. Um, there is a empress here, and now we have major arcana, the temperance. Um, there's a very healing energy over this mother figure with the temperance. Um, I feel like I'm dealing with somebody who may have lost someone. There's a temperance energy around this mother figure. This mother figure was very well balanced. This person was very patient, very kind. They were very grounded. Um, this is someone who knew how to be soft and also knew how to get things done. Um, with the temperance card and, you know, the angel there on the front of the card this person was very angelic this person was very precious um i do see a spiritual healing over this woman figure can i get the death please i do see um this woman was a bit of a healer anything she touched um grew it flourished. This is a woman that could um, walk in a room and make it bright. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the death, I have the Ace of Pentacles. So something here is definitely transitioning. Things are opening up. New doorways of opportunity will open up because of whatever is transitioning here. You know, I don't think that you're going to be down forever. In your pre-shuffle, I had a lot of magician energy. I have a lot of coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, I have someone kind of examining, like, okay, I need to focus forward on how I can change things to um, so that this doesn't happen. I need to heal things here with within my family. Um, whatever is transitioning here is all. Um, it is opening up new doorways for you the ace of pentacles i like to call that my christmas morning it is opening new doorways of opportunity for you um in particular with money you know things or um things this whatever's transitioning will transition in your favor um with the healing card on that empress um things will start looking bright again soon There is a dark energy in the past, and I can't downplay it. Um, with the shadow side and that five of cups, honey, when this grief grabbed whomever, it grabbed. Um, I'm getting, when, uh, when you slip, they grip. When you slip, they grip. So whatever this was, when you slipped, it gripped. Um, I do see um, a very spiritual, angelic healing over whatever happened. Something, whatever this was, it is leading to better opportunity. Um, yeah, like I told you. The sun card right on top of your shadow side. Um, the bad kind of outweighs the good. Not the bad, I'm sorry. The good outweighs the bad. And this scenario, 
whatever, you're doing your best to let this grief go. The coulda, woulda, shouldas. You're doing your best to let this grief go. And um, with the sun card, it's like you're looking at the silver lining. You're looking at the silver lining. Uh, whatever this was, um, it was very, very difficult for you, extremely, and I don't want to downplay that at all. Very hard for you to let go of, but it's like um, the good definitely outweighs the bad here because there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, this woman, this empress, I just can't say enough good things about her with the temperance and now the ace of wands. You got, you're pulling on two aces and the sun. I see much better days ahead for you, Cancer. Much, much better days. Um, this ace of wands here, there will be a lot of things that will make you want, there's going to be new doorways that open that are going to, it looks like a lot of fun activities that you can get behind. And whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, there's going to be money there to fund these new activities. Yeah. 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 Um, and now with the Star, the King of Swords, and the Moon again. Um, there's a death here. There's something, if it's not a physical death, Something definitely ended, but whatever ended is is lead is opening new doorways for you, and I also see the star here. So it's like um, whatever you're praying about, you know, this is someone. This is kind of like uh, faith over fear. You're keeping your head about it, but you're not taking no crap either. This is someone who's thinking very level-headed. They're doing what they need to do to get through, but praying at the same time for help. Um, I do see an answered prayer here. Um, and I see someone, um, I see a lot of spiritual protection over this. Whatever you're praying for, if you're praying for some monetary, something of monetary value, um, that, you know, you need to be practical with whatever you're asking for, there's a, um, you need to be practical and very clear and level-headed about the, about this, uh, about these opportunities and whatever this financial doorway is there. It's, it's time to take action. It's not time to sit around at all. There is a, um, a spiritual protection over this. There's a lot of, um, let's keep this to ourselves. Let's keep this quiet. It's like, it's time to move in silence right now. We need to be very clear-headed. Um, this is a time of prayer um, right now because this is a heavy time of things transitioning. Things are ending without the shadow of a doubt, but it, there is new doorways there that are opening. It's very important right now to strengthen um, your prayer maintain a clear level head and go after be clear and focused with whatever it is that your goals are and go after them and i would keep this between you and god your spirit team you need to keep this between nobody else needs to know about this but you and god whatever it is that you uh you're praying about. There is a need to be in prayer right now. There's a need to be grounded, uh, level-headed, clear-minded, focused. Um, you may want to create a vision board or list some goals down on paper. I do see where you're withdrawn and you are really focusing on success, um, being successful. Um, you've been through a lot, though. The Six of Wands is a warrior. He's took some battles. He has, um, you don't win them all. To win the war, there's some losses. You didn't win all the battles. He's definitely a warrior. I see somebody who's withdrawn, and it's like they are creating a game plan. This is someone who might have just took a loss without the shadow of a doubt. But it's like, okay, we go back to the drawing board, and we create the next play in private, right? Yeah, this is a nine of cups. You don't want for nothing. Uh, very emotionally fulfilled. Very traditional there with the emperor. Um, it's time to take control. 
um, you're very loving and kind and for the most part generous uh, with your, yeah, something was definitely shook up. I mean, in the same card, same space that you had your death, we now have the tower. Um, this is someone who had um, a nine of cups, usually a very a single person. They only need one more cup. But for the most part, you're very um, fulfilled on your own. You're very emotionally fulfilled on your own. Very traditional. Um, very um, always on the go. Um, this is somebody who makes everyone feel warm and welcome and loved. Um, a little bit too controlling, and I do see a shake-up here. Uh, a a shake-up. I see a shake-up. Um, it's a shock. It's something that can't be avoided. Can I get behind the nine? Yeah. You were ex you're expecting something something here about your expectations. Yeah. Traditional, but this is somebody who looks really good. Like you look really good whenever you're you're on the go. This is a busy gal, but you look good. Like um, people are very visually attracted to you. You're a good-looking person. Um, gorgeous, resourceful kind um but very um on the go very take action kind of person good looking what is the tower there is something here that just couldn't be avoided it's a shock um i think you're kind of expecting something here from whoever this good looking resourceful person is that's always very busy what is the tower can i get behind the tower i'm most out of time here yeah, and a king of this is a counterpart. There's going to be a shock that it, I don't know if it's a good shock or a bad shock, but I do see a counterpart, a queen, a, a queen and a king here. You're going to be shocked. Whatever you're, you've been expecting some kind of drama. I don't know if this is a mental conflict that you've been keeping to yourself, but there's a lot of conflict, a lot of talk around whatever this is. There's a lot of talk around it. Yeah. Um, this emperor, very controlling person, uh, very traditional, good looking, always on the go. This person gets the, gets the job done. Whatever they focus on, they put all their focus, all their time, money, energy, effort, and resources. They have what it takes to get the job done. They see things only one way. Um, with the queen of pentacles in reverse, I do see the... Um, somebody here, there's a king here, a very masculine energy. They, this person does not feel very confident, um, at getting things done. It's either you or whomever, but there's a shock here. It's like, it can't be avoided. This person is usually very charismatic, um, very on the go. This is a take charge kind of guy and he looks good while he's doing it, but it just looks like he doesn't feel very confident when it comes to his resources. Mm -mm. He could also be, he could perhaps also be kind of greedy at times. Yeah. I do see you keeping this uh, to yourself right now. It's like some type of eternal, and I felt that when it hit. You're keeping, it's some type of um, internal conflict you're keeping that to yourself it's like i expect this from so and so there's a behavior here whatever shocking thing that happened that couldn't be avoided it's like i have two people who are kind of the same one of you is on the ball the other one you kind of expect whatever this is you expect this person to drag their feet to not have any money to be greedy you expect this behavior out of this gentleman I don't know. I hope that helps you, Cancer.